what we're going to do here uh, for a brief moment um, is kind of show you um, how we vinyl lures and skirt lures and stuff like that. Most everybody kind of has the concept of, uh, of how putting um, a rubber skirt on a lure such as this uh, big blue made by Marlin Magic. Uh, these are your uh, tantrum skirts, you know, you got the Ozuri skirts, uh, Yamashita, stuff like that. These are pretty basic. Everybody pretty much knows how to skirt that, but I'm going to come back to this a little bit later and tell you the difference why we use this versus this or this versus this. So right now we're going to get back to building this lure with uh, vinyl. And vinyl is kind of a special thing that was kind of pretty much started over here in Hawaii. You know, they were using lawn furniture and stuff like that before, you know, anything, you know, inner tubing for bicycles. Um, and uh, so then it finally evolved later in life to the vinyl material, which you get way more colors. I mean, I've got tons of different colors from blacks and blues to, you know, purples and whites. I mean, there's so many different color combinations you can come up with. You can even do, you know, a two color variation on a, on a lure also. Um, the other thing we like about the vinyl too is you know, some lures that are more bulbous, like the um, the Hibby, the OG Hibby uh, by Marlin Magic, or like a uh, Sumo uh, by Andy Moyes, is they have big, big hips on them. And sometimes the rubber skirts are a bit harder to get over those hips and get them down to the post. So by having your vinyl, uh, you're you're able to actually you know, no lure is created equal, and, or, nor are the steps, what we call these, or the, or the, or the uh, attachment of our bold craft inside um, uh, colors are, or our vinyl. So um, this just makes everything more adaptable. Uh, it makes the lure run a little bit more freely uh, without the bulk to it, and you don't have as much bulk as you would with, with rubber skirts um, getting the hook into the fish's, fish's mouth and stuff. Plus, to me, the the the, uh, the vinyl's a bit more durable, too, than the, the rubber. After a while, the rubber gets eaten up a bit. So does the vinyl, um, but it just tends to last a, a little bit longer. So uh, we're going to get started real quick. This is uh, Ruckus by Marlin Magic, and this is one of his new OG uh, versions here with the Mahi Mahi coloring and stuff with a blue hat on it. Um, I'm a big, big fan of, uh, of uh, Marlin Magic Lures, as you know, I've probably already said it five times. Um, but Ruckus is one of my favorite lures out of all of them you know, um, that he makes. Uh, and uh, so we're going to get right with this. First thing we do is get our vinyl. And a lot of guys who use just a regular straight ruler. I found that using a parallel ruler that we've all used in our captain's classes and all that stuff of plotting. It's kind of worked the best for me by keeping everything square. Um, so basically, I'm going to go ahead and square up my piece of vinyl here first, just to make sure that we're looking all good. And everything looks pretty lined up. So the first thing we're going to do is, so we got our straight edge and everything, is we're going to go ahead and measure the, um, the length and the width that we're going to have to cut to put on this lure here. So by taking this, I'm going to take it upside down because this is, typical, this is the, the last step that we're going to have to put this vinyl on and I'll show you that here just shortly. But I'll put it on the lure here, put it just a little bit past this step here, the last step. It was my vinyls or my uh, floss is going to go on here to attach it. But I'm going to put it on here about right where the middle is and then I'm going to pull it around, keep it pressure on that seam right here, kind of stretch it a little bit. Then once I get to my edge, you can see right there, I'm going to take my pin and give it a little mark. And that's basically where I'm going to make my first cut. So by throwing a ruler on there, yeah, yeah, you probably get it pretty square, pretty straight. I, like I said, by using this uh, parallel ruler, you know, there's no guessing and, and things getting all sideways and all that stuff. So it's just it's been one of my go-to deals and makes life a lot easier 